This video is a demonstration of how to make homemade bath bombs. And for this video, we're using recipe C, but you'll follow the same procedure for whatever recipe you're making. And I'm also gonna demonstrate how to use the scale to measure ingredients. I find that the scale is much faster and easier than doing all the dishes, washing all the measuring cups. So once my scale is on, I'm gonna use the tear button, the T, to zero it, so that I'm only getting the measurement of the ingredients and not the bowl itself. Recipe C starts with 132 grams of baking soda. So I'm just gonna start pouring that out and watch the scale till I get to 132. At 126, I'll start going a little slower once I'm close. 132 exactly. And then I need a 56 grams of citric acid, so I'm gonna zero the scale again. And I'll pour the citric acid into a different place just in case I get too much. I can take it back out again. And I need 56, so that was too much. I'll back some out. 55.9 is gonna be good. Recipe C needs six grams of salt, which is about one teaspoon. So I'll zero the scale again, but then I'll measure it into a spoon so that I've got it close. And I can just go a little bit at a time here. That's three grams. 6.3. And then I need five grams or one teaspoon of sugar. Some sugar here and go over here. That's 5.8. Back out just a little bit. All right, 5.1. At this point, I have all my dry ingredients in the bowl and I'm going to mix them with my hands. Um, the idea is to blend up the dry ingredients before I add the liquids, or in this case, the coconut oil. And I want to also break up any clumps that I'm feeling. Uh, my baking soda is a little clumpy, so I'll use my fingers to just kind of blend it up. If you are sensitive to any of the ingredients in this recipe, you could of course wear gloves while you do this, but it's, um, I found that my hands are the best tool. I could probably use a whisk, but this way I get all those clumps out before I start adding the other ingredients. So once we're well blended and it feels nice and smooth, I'm ready to add my liquid or my oil. In this case, it's coconut oil, and the coconut oil can stay solid for this, so I'll just scoop it in. Um, this would also be the point in the other recipes where I would add the olive oil or the water, whatever liquid I've got. So I'll zero the scale again. And I need about two tablespoons of coconut oil, which is 38 grams. So I'll scoop it out a little bit at a time here. And I can just put it right in. Like I said, I don't need to melt it. I'm at nine grams. That brings us up to 23, 27, 30, 33, just a little more. All right, 38.9 is gonna be fine. And now I'm ready to blend this together. I'll get it off the scale. And once again, I'm just gonna use my hands to blend it. It's a little bit like cutting butter into pastry dough. I'm just gonna keep squishing it together. I might roll it between my fingers like this. And it'll take about a minute, so I may cut the video and clip it back in when we're all well blended. Okay, I think we're well blended. I can tell because there aren't any more big chunks of coconut oil that I can feel and because when I squeeze it together it makes a snowball that holds its shape. So we are ready to put this into the tray. I'll just dump it in a little bit at a time and make sure that it's squished in well. I'll try to spread it to all the edges. I'm working over a piece of wax paper so that whatever I spill out, I'll be able to dump back in. And I wanna press it in pretty firmly.
So once I have um, most of my mixture in the tray, I will use my wax paper to transfer the rest of it in there. At least make sure I get most of it. And I'll use my hands, my fingertips to make sure that everything is compacted as tightly as I can get it. All the way to the edges. And then once everything is in as solid as I can go, these get to sit and dry for about an hour, maybe two hours in the tray, and then we'll unmold them. It has been about two hours actually since I put the recipe C bath bombs into their tray. So I'm ready to turn them out. I'm just gonna flip them over and bend the tray and let them just kind of pop out. Eventually the ones on the sides will need a little bit more encouragement and I'll have to push them through from the back. So I can just kind of keep rolling it around till they fall out. Sometimes they need just a little extra shove there. And once they're all out of their tray, I'll just spread them out a little more carefully onto the paper. This is my wax paper again. You could use um, notebook paper if that's what you have or computer paper, but just know that the oil um, will leave a mark on the paper. So wax paper or parchment paper are my choice. But those guys just get to dry for another um, couple hours. I usually let them go overnight, but they are ready to use as soon as they're dry.